hey face. I almost said hey face. <laughs> oh, I gotta start over again. Hey YouTube. Today I am going to attempt to make a a meringue pie shell thing, and it's got. I think it's gonna end up with really different flavor. So stay tuned to find out. Talk to you guys soon. Bye. something really speedy and it's gonna be interesting to see how it comes out I'm gonna make a meringue pie crust because I have a lot of leftover egg whites from my eggnog recipe that I did but I have no sugar left I'm out of stevia I don't think there's if there is any white sugar it's probably not too good anymore and um, I don't have any kind of except for Splenda and I'm not using that so, this is going to be an experiment. I'm going to try making the, making that, and I'm going to put in, sorry, this, which is sugar-free hazelnut coffee syrup. So, let's see if this works out. So, first I got to start doing the eggs. Oh, it needs more. It needs more. I mean, you can taste the hazelnut, but... It's not sweet. I'm sure we don't have to go to the blender. Okay. That was like a tablespoon. So now it's like a tablespoon and a teaspoon. It tastes like getting there. Tastes like hazelnut, but not very sweet. You think we should put a couple packages? Of I don't know if you can see me or not. Do you think we should put a couple packages of Splenda in? Mm -hmm. I guess we might have to. Two packages. I don't really like Splenda, but I'm desperate.
If this isn't sweet, I don't know. Mmm. Mmm, it's really... Have you ever put maple syrup in it? I don't think I have. So. It. Good. Here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. I have the pie shell and I've already got it greased with butter. I'm gonna put this into the pie shell. Hey, look. Wing, 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 wing. Anyway, this is a lot of meringue. Oops. Ooh, I almost knocked over the hazelnut. It's gonna be. That's why I tried to find a bigger pie shell. It's gonna be a lot of. A lot of meringue. I'm supposed to be like leaving a little indentation in the middle, and then I thought I could make like um a coffee chocolate pudding. I thought that would go good with the hazelnut. Um, with the hazelnut maple syrup Splenda. Um. Uh, flavored meringue. I wish you could taste it. So I have the oven set on 225. You guys, some of you guys gotta go over there. Go to the other side. Go to the other side. Don't worry, I just eat it. I know there's a thing about raw eggs, but I love the meringue. Even when it's not cooked, I like to eat it. But don't listen to me because just don't listen to me. Just don't. So, yeah, that's going to be really thick. So, I'll have to leave it in the oven for a while. Because you don't want soggy meringue. Wow, you think it's going to work? I don't know. Time will tell. <clears throat> so, so. I have the pie crust or whatever shell, I guess you'd say, because I don't know if you call it a crust. It's in the oven and it has to stay in there for a while. This is some of the leftover. I love meringue. I never have maple and hazelnut meringue. Sorry. Mmm, mm, so creamy. Mm, mm. So, when I take it out, um, I'll try to make the pudding to put in it, and then we'll see how it all comes out. So, this will be a, a long video. Well, I'm going to have to piece it all together. Bye. See you guys later. I'm kind of sad about my thing because earlier I was doing something on my phone, I think for YouTube, and I kind of let it go too long. And it's, see, it's pulling away. I gotta let it sit in the oven, I guess, all night. But, I mean, it kind of tastes good. Not that really brown pots. So I'm hoping that it's just really brown on the edge. I'm making a chocolate coffee pudding to go inside. And I'm going to try and get these dark parts off uh, after I fill it up. But i got to let it sit and get hard because you can tell it's see, soft underneath. So more about it tomorrow. The pudding I made last night did not get hard like pudding should. So now I'm drinking it like champarado. It's really good with chocolate, and vanilla, and coffee. Another great invention. It's good. Anyway, so I'm gonna make flan to go in it. So we'll see how that comes out and I'll show you guys. 
season. So, my thing came out really kind of ugly, but it got done finally. You can hear it. It's crispy. I took it out last night of the pan. See, that side got two done. And I turned it over this morning and put it back in the oven on warm. And um, finally the meringue got dry. So now I'm going to put the, the pudding in. It's not the prettiest thing, but hey, I just hope it tastes good. <laughs> I'll let you know. Do you want to see something really ugly? <laughs> this is the pie crust. I tried to push it down and I did taste a couple pieces and make sure it didn't taste burnt because see the other side got pretty done. So um, that was the top that turned it over. So, but when it fills up with the flan, that should fill in the cracks, I'm hoping. And it will still just have the crunchy outside. Right? Nobody will see this part. And I tried to clean the edges off. Kind of. Anyway, so I'll show you the finished product as soon as it's finished. Okay, so it got a little hard. <laughs> this pie was, I don't want to say it was doomed, but it was having problems from the start. So I'm going to pour it in and then turn my phone back on because I don't have it on a stand. Okay, <clears throat> so yes, it is ugly duckling pie, but um, remember the cookie bars I made about four days ago? Well, there were still crumbly left. I added, dang, my thing, the bracelet's noisy. I added some white chocolate chips to it and I'm sprinkling that on top of my pie. In an effort to cover up its ugliness. You know, this might come out really good. I'm filming my putting on my pot. You know what? It might come out good. No comment? Seriously? Are you gonna try it? No. Son? I, son, it's just a meringue and then a flan and then the cookie crumbs with the white chocolate chips. Huh? Yeah, she was just outside. She stinks, yeah. She, I think she was playing with, um, no, um, uh, what is Mel's dog's name? Jenny? Yeah, Jenny. So, there it is. You know, it's really not ugly. It's kind of pretty. I mean, the, the pan, the pan's kind of ugly. The meringue's stuck. But, I'm gonna let it sit in the refrigerator till tonight. And or later, and then I will cut it and let you know how it was. Because if I cut it right now, I think it will just really fall apart. So now I am going to. I forgot all about this part. I have the package of stuff that you're supposed to put in the bottom of the flan, but I'm going to drizzle it over the top. Okay, look at my pie, because you're doing that. It's jiggling. Watch it wiggle. See? <laughs> jiggle. Okay, don't. Hey, this looks kind of pretty, actually. I don't know. I might have discovered something new. Looks like chocolate. The flanny part. I mean the sugar part. What's the date? Today the is the 21st. Can you come? There's a lot of days that haven't been opened yet. Yeah, I haven't been doing it. I'm sorry. I had no candle. I'll save the rest for you. No, you can have them. I don't care. I don't need it. Look at you. You won't even turn my pie in now. Look, I'm not going to eat all this pie. What are you pouring over there? The, that's the part that usually goes in the bottom of the flan. 
Okay, I'm going to try my pie so that I can... Uh-oh, looks like it got kind of soggy. That's probably... How you get the scoop out? Hang on. Okay, it's not the prettiest pie, but what does it taste like? And I look really terrible right now, so... Interesting. It's kind of weird. Crust is really weird. Hold on. Hang on. Oh, oh shoot. How girl? How girl? How girl? I like that. I like the um bun and the topping. Just the crust is kind of weird. Help you! Well, I'll put my recipe on there, but I'll put where I went wrong and how you can make it better. My voyage. Of the weird pie. Whoa. Okay, thanks guys.